Hello Matrix and welcome to the seventh video on calculus brought to you by the Answer Series. In this video we will be looking at tangents. Remember from the previous video if f of x is equal to ax to the n then the derivative f dash x is equal to a times n x to the power n minus 1. Now we're going to be using that extensively in this video. Example number one, I ask you to determine the gradient of the tangent to f of x at the point x equals minus one. Now remember a gradient is a derivative. So if you ask to find the gradient of a tangent to a curve, you get the derivative of f of x and then you want to know what it is when x is minus 1. So I want you to pause the video, I want you to try this yourself, and then we'll do it together. I get the derivative of f of x. I want it when x equals minus 1. So in place of x goes minus 1, and I get an answer of 11. Now the graph is not part of my question at all but I want to look at it just to give you a better understanding. f of x is a parabola. When I ask you for a tangent to the parabola at the point x equals minus 1, there's my tangent to the parabola. And I ask you for the gradient of that tangent, I got an answer of 11. So that's what's happening when I ask you for a gradient of a tangent. You're taking the derivative, substituting the point in, and you get your answer. Example number two. I now ask you for the equation of the tangent. So in the previous example I asked you for the gradient of the tangent. This one I want you to go even further and not just determine the gradient, I want you to get the actual equation of that straight line. So I want you to pause the video, I want you to try this yourself and then we will do it together. I start off in exactly the same way by finding the derivative but before I do that I just need to sort out the minus 3 over x, then I take the derivative. I want it at the point x equals 3. So in place of x goes 3, and I get that the derivative at x equals 3 is a third. So I've got the gradient, but I want the equation. I know that x equals 3. So I substitute x equals 3 into f of x to find the y value that happens when x is 3 and I get the point 3, 4. I know my gradient is a third so y equals a third x plus c at the point 3, 4 in place of x goes 3 in place of y goes 4 and I get the equation of the tangent. Now again I've drawn the graph just to give you a better understanding of it. It's not part of the question but at least you can visualize it. So I've drawn my hyperbola. I want the tangent at the point x equals 3. Well at the point x equals 3 there's my tangent and I got the equation y equals a third x plus 3. Example number three I've turned around and I now say to you determine the values of x for which the gradient is one. So in this example I've given you what the gradient is and you've got to work out the x values. So I want you to pause the video, try this yourself and then we'll do it together. Whenever you see the word gradient in calculus find the derivative. So I get the derivative. I've told you that the gradient is 1. So I make the derivative equal 
to 1. I then set up my trinomial, factorize it, and I get two values for x. So when x is a third, or when x is 1, my gradient is equal to 1. And again, I've drawn a graph just to show you what's happening with it. I've drawn the cubic, and we'll discuss cubic graphs in much more detail in the next video. Where is the gradient equal to 1? There's a gradient of 1, and there's a gradient of 1. So I have two points on my graph where the gradient is 1, and they are my two answers. Example number four. I ask you to calculate the coordinates of the points for which the tangent to f of x is perpendicular to a straight line. Now, you need to remember what you know about perpendicular lines. The product of the gradients is minus one. So what I want you to do is I want you to pause this video, try this question, and then we'll do it together. You see the word tangent, which means I must find the derivative. So get the derivative of f of x. It's got to be perpendicular to this line. The gradient of this line is minus 1 over 14. So the gradient of the perpendicular line is going to be 14. So I make the derivative equal to 14 set up my trinomial, and I get two values for x. And if I think about it with my graph, I've drawn the cubic graph. Where is the gradient 14? There and there. And I've got two values for x. But the question said to me, calculate the coordinates of the points, not just the x values. So when x is 3, I substitute 3 into f of x, and I get that f of 3 is 19. And when x is minus 1, I substitute minus 1 in place of x, and I get f of minus 1 is minus 5. So there I have the coordinates of the two points where the gradient is 14. In example number five, I've turned this around as well, and I've given you the equation of the tangent, and I've asked you to find f of x. So I want you to pause the video, I want you to try it yourself, and then we will do it together. Remember, when you see the word tangent in calculus, it means take the derivative. You've been given that it's at the point x equals minus 2, so in place of x goes minus 2, and I get the gradient. Now, the gradient of my tangent is minus 11. So the gradient of f of x must equal minus 11, and I solve for a. When x is minus 2, I substitute minus 2 into the tangent, and I get a y value of 16. So minus 2, 16 lies on the tangent. But the tangent and f of x happen to have the same coordinate, because that's where the tangent is. So minus 2, 16 also lies on f of x. So what I do is I use the value of a that I've calculated, and I substitute minus 2, 16 into f of x, and I get my value of b. You should now understand how to work with tangents. Thank you for watching this video. Check out the video description below for practice questions from our study guides. If you found this video useful, give it a like and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any new episodes. Follow us on Instagram or Facebook to stay on top of the latest TAS news and launches. So that's it for now from The Answer Series, your key to exam success.